So let me show you how this was done. And this is a figure that a lot of you already have. Plus, some of you may have these Mezco magnets. I decided to reuse them one more time. So let's rip off the head here. And let's take it apart to show you how I did it. That's going to be the best way to do this instead of starting from scratch. So you just peel off the emblem. And I did glue it down using the fabric tack glue. Otherwise, if it would have been super glue, it could have just torn to shreds. Matter of fact, super glue is what I used on the magnet on the inside. And one of these magnets is, well, backwards. And I've got to switch it around. I'm just going to replace it with a new one. And I do have to heat it up to soften it and remove that magnet from the right-hand side. The magnet is just not attaching to that. So I've already switched out the magnet. It much better. Everything magnetizes now. Let me show you how clean it looks. So there's one, and then there's two, and three. So you can get these magnets off of eBay, somebody who's parting out the figure. Or if you already have the actual kit, then just reuse the magnets for something else. But the nice thing about this is you can do this to any of the Superman figures that you may have an extra emblem for. So this was an extra body. I went ahead and robbed the emblem from another body that I had, and I just decided to swap it on here. And I did grind away the thickness of that emblem because it was just too thick. I thinned it down as much as possible, but still reusing part of that emblem to embed the magnets. These are three millimeter magnets that you can purchase off of eBay. Place one on the bottom, the one on top, We'll have the glue already attached to the uh, surface and just drop it in. The magnet will just click into place. That's it. Three millimeter magnets you can buy on eBay for a couple bucks. You can get a hundred of them for maybe $10 and then re-glue the chest emblem with the same glue, the Fabri-Tac glue. Here it is. Why do I use the Fabri-Tac? Because it's slow drying. And because it is slow drying, it allows you to reposition the figure time and time again. Now, just a dab goes a long way. L apply it. Let it become sticky. Do not apply it onto the figure immediately because it can slide off. So allow it to become sticky after a few minutes. Apply it and then hold it down with either a clamp or some tape. I've got some tape and I'm going to use a clamp. Then I've got to leave it there for at least four hours for it to completely adhere to the surface. And if I ever have to remove it, I'll just heat it up and remove it again, just like I'd shown you earlier. Now you will have to create those two dimples in the chest for the magnets to fall into have enough space. But because they're behind the emblem, you're not going to see them. So it doesn't matter if they're irregular. It just makes space for those magnets. And then you can reuse those exterior bullet magnets and it just has a better and cleaner and a different look to your figure so if you want to reuse those mezco pieces or accessories this is one way to do it i hope this video gives you some idea of what you can do with your figures and now i'll leave you with the rest of the video showing you the difference between the first clip and now the corrected clip have fun, and we'll see you next time.